motion on the floor to grant for a variance request for the north setback on the house of four feet, which is a six foot variance. We have a motion for granting a seven foot variance north side of the accessory building because it is three feet. And all the other factors that were originally in the application have been Taking care of it. Second. I have a second from Ms. Gaskins. All in favor, please raise a hand. Three, four, five. I'm not voting. I'm not voting. No. I have all opposed, raise a hand. Five. You got a vote of five, one. Okay, that takes care of that case. Thank you very much. Okay, the next case we will be hearing is Lance County VAR 2013-16, Sherry Hartzell on behalf of Travel Center Properties. Yes, sir. This next request is a variance to our non-conforming sign requirement. Um, this request is pretty simple. Um, travel centers, they're revamping the look of, of their sites, and this is a freestanding sign that has a changeable reader message where you have to go and actually physically change the letters. They want to change that or modify that to a digital board. Um, the sign is now conforming because there are there are over the number of freestanding signs they can have on the property. And with a non-conforming sign, you cannot make any modifications. You're just kind of stuck with what you have. They're not increasing the square footage. Um, they're keeping everything just about the same, with the exception of going to a digital message board. That what that is to do with, and it's recommended approval. And the reason we got all those signs in there is it was predating the ULD. That's correct. <laughs> okay, any questions, any discussions from the board at this time? Thank you very much. Is there anyone here in support of this application? Do you need to bring anything to us or do you need to know that you're here? Um, one thing I would like to point out. Okay, please come to the lesson, give us your name and address and record. Okay. Sherry Hartzell, it's 414 Russell Street, Canapolis. Um, the, they do have five freestanding signs, however, this is a huge truck stop that's on like 10 acres of land, and a lot of their ground signs are more like directory type signs, right. so, you know, they're not like advertising signs. So I just wanted to point that out, and the, uh, the only thing that's going to be changing is the price, the price panel. They're going to the digital price panel, as opposed to the sign. Same price. height, same size. Same sign, exactly. Just that, that change. Anything else? That's all. Okay, any questions or discussions at this point? Is anyone else here in support of this application? Is anyone here in opposition to this application or does someone have questions about what's being requested? Thank you. Was there any response to your office from other than you were aware of? No. Ladies and gentlemen, any other questions or discussions? We'll take a manual reader board out and put an electronic reader board in. Other than that, no other changes. If there's no discussion, can I entertain a motion? I have a motion from Gretchen to grant the request as worded. 
I have second for that view of her. I have second for Vernon Gaskins. All in favor, please raise your hand. Unanimous. Thank you very much. Okay, next case we'll listen to is VAR 2013-17, William C. Nigam, T.S. Land Development, LLC. Yes, sir. I'm requested by Chair Moore. Development and this request originally started out as a two-part request, but the applicant withdrew the variance to the sewer connection, so that's no longer for consideration. Um, the first variance they're asking is to the minimum lot width requirement. The property is situated on Old 41 North. Um, it's also located within the county's corridor overlay requirement, which requires lots to be a minimum of 250 feet. Um, Terry Moore has proposed to subdivide two acres from the parent parcel to develop a Dollar General. And the property is proposing to be 225 feet instead of the 250 foot requirement. So they need a 25 foot variance to the lot with requirement. All other development regulations are complied, uh, are complied, and staff has looked at this and has recommended approval. Um, they felt that the intent of the lot width was met. Um, although the owner or the developer owns the property to the north, um, it's not going to be developed at this time. So staff felt that they was within the scope and intent of the court order requirement. And we recommend approval. Okay, I have one question. I really don't have a problem with 225 versus 250, but I just, for my own education, why they couldn't come up with another 25 foot on the front end? The applicant can speak more to this, but they cited, you know, there are existing drain fields and septic tanks um, on that north north end of that property, and you know, if they made the property 250, they were encroached on those existing drain field lines. Okay, so the rest of the mobile homes will stay there. They're going to stay there for a few at years. least for foreseeable future. Yes. Okay. <coughs> I just wonder why they couldn't find another 25 feet out there. Yes, we tried to talk them into doing it, but. No okay, any questions from the board at this time? Can you give an administrative variance on this board? Being no questions or discussion, is there anyone here, the applicant or someone representing the applicant, would like to address the board? questions from the board at this time? 
Is there any, thank you very much. Is there anyone else here in support? Is there anyone here in opposition? Does anyone have questions about what's being proposed? Any contact with your office, Carmela, we need to be aware of concerning this case. There was a number of calls. Um, it was more interest. You know, they were inquiring about the request. There was nobody in the opposition that you have to thank you. So, okay. Any other questions, any other discussions from the board at this time? Can I entertain a motion on this request? I have a motion that the delegates can run and decide what I have a motion from the Gaskins to grant the variance as requested for the uh, reduction, 25 foot variance in the frontage, the second item, Sanitary sewer requirement has been met, so it's not part of it. If I get a second, I'll say it. I have a second from Mr. Alvarado. All in favor, please raise a hand. Unanimous, good luck with it. Okay, Carmel, your show is open. Now we have the city of Alnosa, the Matt Martin show. Next case we'll call is City of Aldosta case, application 2013-14, Fairway Outdoor Advertising, Bay Street Road. Yes, sir. Um, in fact, we have staff's report and recommendation for <coughs> the materials um, but for clarity's sake. And since I know you've had a meeting already, let me just run through some of these highlights. Uh, this is a request by Fairway Outdoor Advertising requesting a variance to LEO section 230-9 as pertains to freestanding signs for multi-tenant center and CC zoning. The property is about a quarter of an acre in size, located at 1310 Bay Road. Okay. Here we go. CC zoning, map, uh, corner of Hollybrook and Bay Tree, across from the city of Bramington. The property contains an existing small multi-tenant commercial building with affiliated parking and has a freestanding sign that is approximately 20 feet high and 72 square feet of area under the CC. Zoning the uh, sign is allowed to be up to 35 feet tall and a sign area of maximum of 125 square feet. Um, also, the sign is located in the southeast corner of the property. Let's get better here with the yellow area. Um, it is more than 50 feet from the entrance when they don't have any requirements is for a freestanding sign associated with multi-tenant facility to be within 50 feet of the entrance. This one is about 100 feet away. Um, so we're looking at that to as a variance consideration. And there you can see the existing sign, the schematic, the applicant is provided showing an attached uh, freestanding sign to go with it. And then some pictures of the subject property itself. We'll zoom in at the existing sign and some of the surrounding property. The existing sign was built uh, before the LDR uh, went into effect. It was part of the development plans for that shopping center. This was reviewed during the course of 2008. And the sign was um, constructed actually in January of 2009. Um, the applicant, as you see in some of the comments in your packet from the applicant, they're wanting to have this considered uh, under the guise of a replacement billboard. You may recall some other requests in the past few months uh, when we talked about that issue. Um, the staff disagrees that that is even applicable in this case. Um, so in deference, trying to assist the applicant um, to reduce the magnitude and the number of variances we're processing as it increase the freestanding sign. Since it is uh, coupled with the existing sign that's there, we treat it as one sign and therefore increase the sign area. Uh, currently 72 square feet, the maximum allowed under code is 125. So they've got room for expansion, um, but they're wanting to add 300 square feet. Variances, as you know, are based on hardship. Uh, the hardship criteria there in your packet receive the applicant's responses to those criteria and staff's responses as well. We don't see any hardship in this case for increased signage area. So with the first variance consideration, which is sign area, we are recommending denial after finding that inconsistent criteria. The second one, has to do with location of the sign. 
Currently, it is uh, grandfathered in, it's non conforming. There's no requirement for a variance for that for the existing sign. But if we were to expand the sign in any way, increase the variance, we would need to at least review that variance and then grant it or not. In other words, in order to be expanded, we would need to grant the variance for its location. Uh, there's nothing pressing for that, but if we want to, we can grant the variance for the location, which that is supported of, as we described here in the packet. Um, as you look at the plan, there's really nowhere else to put a freestanding sign along Bay Tree Road. Uh, you're limited to only one freestanding <coughs> sign. Commercial sign is supposed to be within 50 feet of the entrance. If you were to move this closer to the entrance, you were impeding traffic flow to the existing parking lot, uh, perhaps creating a visibility problem at the intersection. So this is really the ideal location for the freestanding sign. So given those considerations of existing site uh, layout, that is supporting that there. Um, there's a lot of materials here for you to digest. Um, the applicants are here. Um, they are proposing to relocate uh, the existing billboard sign. Remember that as a water sign from just down the street. Remember that was part of the variance review a few months ago. Um, we are currently in litigation with the applicant over that decision, as well as another decision. Um, so they are here. I think they can describe their interpretations a little bit. Um, if there's a disagreement with staff's interpretation, I think it would be best reviewed under administrative appeal um, at a future hearing. We've got time to review those issues. But today we're looking at a marriage request for this property on Patriot Road. I'm trying to answer any questions you might have. Okay. By right. Right now, they can have a 35 foot billboard sign. They can have a 35 foot tall, you're saying inside, regardless of message. Mm -hmm. um, and up to 125 square feet. The sign that's there now is less than those maximums. Okay. So if we grant the variance for location, that sign can be expanded up to those good maximums. The sign that's there now is about 20 feet tall and about 72 square feet. So they can add 53 square feet and go up another 15 feet higher. They took down the current sign and relocated the one that's down Bay Tree to this. Location. In other words, remove what's existing. Right. They can bring that other one in. Mm -hmm. Could they have um, double faces? Yeah, signs can be two sided. So and it counts, you measure one side. Mm -hmm. And the sign they're wanting to, the structure they're wanting to relocate here is 300 square feet. So it exceeds the good maximums in terms of area. If it were smaller, they could do that, get a permit for the location, and have a smaller sign, and be fine. I mean, they're up to 125 square feet, they could make it taller than existing, and go up to 35 feet tall. And they, they can remove that sign and put a new one in, but they would still have to ask for the variance for the location if Correct. they met height and size. Correct. If they don't meet height and size, they've got to ask for variance of the height and or size or both, and they've got to ask for a variance to re put it back in that spot. Right, because, so of, because of the existing the non right. I, right. I didn't want to make sure that we're all on the right. same thing. Uh, the existing sign, just so the existing sign is actually staying, and they're adding basically another sign on top of it. It's yeah, in effect, an expansion of the existing sign, um, no different than adding panels to the structure. Um, what they're proposing is a large addition, a separate pole, which is fine, they won't be pole signs, um, but in the same place. The size is the problem. It's the size is the primary problem, but they want to do. And location, which is another variance, but I think easily uh, dealt with. But the size is the primary issue. I Question. Talking about relocation, and I'm a little um, mixed up about that. I'm going to take the digital billboard that's um, at the. No, the Bay Tree self storing <laughs> down the street, this was no. subject property from a couple yeah, months okay. ago. Um, that structure, they're wanting to, I guess, reuse it. Remember, the board granted a variance to that property owner to replace the sign that's there. Right. And I think they're wanting to use the existing structure to build on this property. Okay. They're not taking down the sign, just moving it. They're using a piece of signage stuff. 
that would be moved somewhere else uh, here. What I'm saying is they want what's on the property down the street is 300 square feet. My understanding is they're wanting to take that structure, I think, as in its entirety, or at least the, the panels, and erect that on this property. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so the one that's at the stores, Brennan right Barron's Forest, that is keep feeding there. And this is a new one on the street then. Right. Although you, you it's granted, on the street, it's moving to a new location. Right. You granted approval for the one down the street right. to be replaced by another right. sign. Right. And I think what they're wanting to do is take the old sign put it on this property. Okay, so they're not taking one down and just moving it. They're putting a new one up. If, if your question is, Matt, we are not losing any We're sign. not getting rid of any signs. We're not getting rid of anything. We're just going to move what they have up the road and then it'll be up to the sign. No. Mr. Mackey. Mackey. That's what the question I have. Was that yeah. Mackey's property? Yes. Mack, Mack, Mackey. And they couldn't agree to a lease agreement with these folks? They, I'm not sure of those details. Yeah. Um, if I remember correctly, though, uh, the placement sign is technically only supposed to be on the, it's, you're yeah. supposed to replace the sign on that property. It's not supposed to be replacement of the sign on a different property. Yeah, so it's, it's the interpretation of the sign. that has to meet the requirements of the property. If you have an existing non-performing sign, it's grandfathered in, you've got that amount of signage. I uh, <coughs> replace it with a, a new structure. But it's the idea of replacement is on that property. Right. right. And I will be the same type of sign. I do the same height and everything. Just well, there's, there's in that part of the yeah. ordinance, there's a, a list of the criteria that it has to meet size, limitations, height, things of that nature. So as long as it's compliant with those, then they meet those requirements. Process and get up. Um, the, the sign that they're proposing to go here, if I remember correctly, the sign ordinance is.